Today, as we continue our walk through the Bible, one book, one verse at a time, we look at Ezekiel, which is a bit of an odd book. It's a part of a collection of books called apocalyptic literature that are full of all kinds of visions and representations and images that we don't necessarily understand today. This is like Ezekiel and Daniel and Revelation. And yet there are messages in there that are hugely important and extremely beneficial for us today. Now, Ezekiel is another one of the major prophets, so one of the larger prophetic books, and he also straddles the time of the exile of the people from Judah and the destruction of Jerusalem. And one of the amazing things, actually there's a whole bunch of stuff in Ezekiel that points ahead to Jesus and to the renewal that will come when God comes back to his people, or better put, when God renews his people and places them back in a place where he dwells with them. Because actually, in the book of Ezekiel, we never see God leaving his people. We do see God leaving the city. This is a crucial difference, the fact that God doesn't really leave his people, but he leaves his city, uh, or he leaves that temple and that place where he had landed and chosen to make a name for himself. It's important because it reminds us that God isn't linked or stuck to a particular place. And it also reminds us that the story that God is writing throughout the scriptures isn't just about one particular people in one particular place. It's about how he uses his people, and in this case, this one particular people, the descendants of Abraham, in order to bless all of the nations, to bless all all places, because ultimately what we're looking for is a restoration of all peoples, a restoration that is promised to come simply for God's name and his glory, not because of anything that we can do as God's people. Which brings us to the key verse in Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 22. Therefore, say to the Israelites that this is what the sovereign Lord says, it is not for your sake, people of Israel, that I'm going to do these things, but for the sake of my holy name, which you've profaned among the nations where you have gone. Then he continues into verse 25. I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from your impurities and your idols. I will give you a new heart and will put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of of flesh. This promise of restoration and renewal is one that is given and just blessed upon the people. And that's why when we see in Jesus and when he comes, we see this gift that's given to him and why we see in the New Testament as the people recognize that Jesus is God come among us, this fulfillment of Ezekiel that the restoration that is given to us is a gift of grace, that not as a result of anything that we do. In Jesus, this promise that a new spirit and a new heart will be given to those who follow him and who call on him has come true. And so as usual, if you've enjoyed this walk through Ezekiel, I'd encourage you to like this video, to subscribe, and maybe tell some of the things that you find interesting in this book.